Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Picture so perfect we play Hello wonderful people, lover of good things, welcome back to this YouTube channel, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, I greet you all according to your time. Yes, my amazing people, people living in Nigeria, they are not really happy according to legit news when they go along the street, the reaction to people living in Nigeria is not, I mean, is nothing to write about, this is very bad. So I will drop the video in a minute. Please, if today is your first time of coming across Anointed Lady TV channel, please do not fail to hit on the subscribe button. If you have not done that, put on the notification bell. So whenever I drop any new video, you will be the first to notified. And also leave your comment below what you think about this video and about what is happening presently in Nigeria. And like the video, share so that other people we still know what is happening because at us now so many people they are still doubting what is happening in nigeria so let's just watch this video guys bye bye the government are not ready to take to take the horn the bull by the horn because whenever things are happening like let's use the example of um, the election at kogi when there was election at kogi almost thirty thousand security men were sent there how many are in meduguri if just for an election thirty thousand security can be sent there those type of things, if you look at it, you know that this government are not ready for the situation of discretion. And those people in power, I, for my own opinion, have hand in it. That is why they don't want to do anything about it. Because the big men are not being attacked. It's only the masses that are being attacked. That's why now if you go to the railway line, you see it is generous that go through the railway line. That is why the railway is very expensive now for the masses. I think that is my own opinion. I don't think that Nigeria will come to stay again. Because things are hard, things are come difficult. People are dying every day. Problem everywhere, and this problem is from the north. And they have all these people bandits, this and that, and like yes, man, what and what and call them uh, insurgency and all this and the unknown government. All these are from the north. Now the thing has escalated, and people they are working with the other people, other regions, quiet people. They now see all these things as a cheating to them. And they are cheating other people. They are not working according to the way. If they are working according to the way, they could have known. And this is one Nigeria. Everybody has a poor right. If you go to the ministry now, if you go every important place there is money, it's only them. You go to the, the government, everywhere it's only them. You go to the securities, everywhere it's only them. Then siding their people. Go to police today. It's all of them. DPOs, everything. You understand me? Trying to, you know, intimidate other ones. Bringing them down, telling all that they are not of this, they are not the owner, they are a stranger. Fulani has no village here. What we are saying is let Nigeria be pieces and pieces up to four places. Let them go to their, their, their Nigeria. Let me do bed go. Ibos go, Yoruba go. Then peace will remain in this country. Otherwise, there will be no peace. So that's what you think. Yes, there is no peace. That is only the solution to this. That is where all these things can stop. Otherwise, no way it can never stop. The reason is because our president is no more fit he's not strong anymore he cannot think for their hair what can happen for many years Buhari for other times Buhari for this time first time no mistake second time no mistake where are you going to if the man is okay for his search look at what happened the first mistake second is mistake I beg please let us tell ourselves truth the let him tell the truth. Resign. Let the youth, the stronger, the, the, the brain is clear to start defeat so that Nigeria will be better. Without that, no more. As far as this country is concerned, the present administration, federal in particular, and state in general, state, I'm not saying all have failed woefully. That is it. Because they are after primordial thought what goes into their pocket you understand so that they don't take responsibility a man who has a family and cannot take responsibility and is not responsible to the family that man is an infidel is an irresponsible father as far as i'm concerned 
the government has failed in all ramifications. They have nothing to offer. In area of employment, employment is one-sided. You understand? Within a particular geographical area of this country. And those people being employed are from one religion. Are you hearing me? So the truth is bitter, it must be told. Every Nigerian who voted the president's administration with hope that they will, they will do something better have, has failed woefully. Ab initio, when Jonathan was in power, we have never heard that inflation has gone to 18%. When Jonathan was in power, the, the price of rice, edible rice, both foreign and local, is no more than 89,000. But now it's beyond the reach of the common people. From 8,000 to 38,000, which are bought from Nigeria in the last two weeks. So, what are they governing? Whom are they ruling? Are they ruling the air? Vox populi, vox the ye. The voice of the people is the voice of God. And the voice of the people is against this present administration. People at Nigeria have become what? A killing field that every day blood bad and they are not bothered because it doesn't affect them. There's an adage in Igbo land that when you are carrying another person's corpse, it seems as if you are carrying log of wood. The government should put them put Nigerian government is a laughing stock in the committee of nations. They have no idea, they have nothing to offer, only mere condemnation, condemnation, what is happening administration has failed no two ways about it in course of security the government that cannot secure its people that government has failed woefully 100 percent plus so what are we talking most of the people you see walking here Tom, don't have been 200 naira for transport so what, what what are we celebrating poverty misery killing kidnapping bloodbath up to the extent has gone to higher institutions where undergraduates are being killed on daily basis. Look at the one of the Greenfield universities in Kaduna. Children who knew nothing to, nothing to, to the problem of the including their parents, they are being killed. And somebody is there claiming to be the leader of the six most populous country in the world. It's a shame. What is happening today is something that we cannot explain. Because the insecurity is causing a lot of problem in Nigeria and it's like the government doesn't have anything to do with it or they don't know how to tackle it. The president is weak, people in the National Assembly is weak, name them, the governors don't know what to do. The local government chairmen and the permanent rulers, they are all handicapped and there's nothing they can suggest that can give us a kind of uh, the sense of belonging in this nation. That is, that's the way I can see it. Well, in my own opinion, I would say it's the negligence of the government officials. They are, they are just self-centered. They just focus on making, making themselves rich and focusing on their family. That is just the only thing. The nation is not in their heart, so that is just the, one of the problems we are having. If they have the, the nation in, at heart, at least they know the, the needful. They know the right thing to be done, at least to get things right in the nation. So. That one of the things I observe is negligence of the, the government officials. It is like this because they are not doing enough. They are not doing enough. They should have. They should. They should be doing more than what they are doing right now. But when we have um, corrupt people, like we have right now, I will say it. I will not mention names, but I know that we have them a lot, and they are the one manipulating the whole thing. In fact, it is so so bad that even right now. Those that we call, those that are, are, that are in, uh, on top of the government that should be um, taking care of security challenges like we're having are even directly involved in these things. So they, 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 they cannot handle it. They cannot handle it, if I can conclude. One thing that I know that is a cause of insecurity is lack of job. That is the only thing. If they can fix jobs, if young men can have jobs to do, they will remove their minds from all these vices. That is my own. The way forward is for us to have a government that is job-created oriented, that have job creation 
at the back of their minds. If they create jobs and create a balanced environment for business to thrive, legitimate business to thrive, all these things will go down. Because people are being recruited to do evil simply because they have nothing doing. So with small, small money, with peanut money, they can do anything. How can you look at hunger and starvation everywhere? So a hungry man can do anything just to make sure that he has something to eat. I, I think that is the bedrock of uh, insecurity, is lack of job. If president can listen to masses, insecurity is the problem of our country. If he can listen to masses, but he cannot. He cannot. That is our problem. You understand? That is our problem. If he can listen to masses and hear their problem, solve their problem, but he cannot listen to because of people he carry along, they cannot give him detailed information. That is our president problem. If you check out the ratio of the rich and the poor, the variation is nothing to write about. The rich are very free. But the majority electorate are poor. So there should be a balancing. And for government to balance this, they should give the masses one blow to them. 